This tip is going to teach you how to avoid dog-eared corners at the bottom of your quilt when you have fullness in your borders, and that's a very common problem. You can see here that I've got some fullness in this border, but my technique is to ease in the fullness where it is rather than push it down to the bottom of the quilt. If you push it down to the bottom, you have a whole bunch of fullness and you'll have a dog-eared quilt, but if you ease it in to the area where it should be, then you should avoid that. And if you start at the side closest to your belly, to the belly bar, and then you baste up the side, um, you can ease in that fullness and avoid that problem. So watch as I move the machine, I'm going to use this hand to put a little bit of pressure here and to manipulate my fabric. Now you can see back here, I can't put any pressure on the quilt because the throat of the machine is here, but here there's nothing there. So I can use this hand to put this pressure that helps me stretch it out a little bit and ease that in, just like you would a sleeve. If you were easing a sleeve into a sweat uh, shirt, that's how you would do it and it works really well. Now you can see there's a little bit of fullness here in this quilt, but not too much that I can't quilt that in. It will disappear in the quilt. And now when I get to the bottom corner, I'm not going to have, maybe I had half inch of fullness here. If I pushed it onto the next one, that would give me two inches of fullness, I mean an inch. By the time I get down to the bottom of the quilt, I would have two inches of extra fullness and nowhere for it to go. And that's when you have to stretch those corners out to avoid any tucks. This is a much better way, and if you can train yourself to go from the uh, side closest to you to away, then you can trap it all in there. Now there's one little warning here. You want to make sure that you don't get a tuck right here when you do the next row. If there's too much fullness and you're unable to ease it in, then you may get a tuck. So you'll learn when using this technique just how much you can ease in.